right guys so to get rid of some roughness some dryness and some quick aging on the skin you are going to be needing to use fresh aloe vera leaf now aloe vera is an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory agent and because of the presence of onzins it helps to reduce your scars it contains and stimulates the growth of the new cells it speed up the healing process of acne and prevent your skin from aging all right for this we're gonna just be needing a little quantity and then we're gonna prepare that I'm gonna remove this the the skin and try to be gentle so you don't take out too much of the aloe vera all right so here it is and this is it this goodness man the skin knits it so so well and it's actually bitter in the mouth so if, if you're if you're thinking of consuming um, aloe vera, know that it is really really bitter. Would have to be blending the aloe vera, okay? Now you don't need to put any water into this, okay? You just blend it that way because when you're done blending, the aloe vera would look as if you know, the water. So, now we we'll have to transfer the aloe vera into its separate bowl. And this is how it looks like. Alright guys, so we're also going to be making use of potato. And if you can get potato starch, it's going to be perfect, okay, because the starch is going to do the magic for your skin. Alright? Now, potato contains an enzyme that helps to prevent the skin from blemishes. It contains anti-aging remedy that prevents aging and reduces wrinkles on the face. It also contains vitamin C that is very, benefi that is very beneficial for hydrating the skin gonna prepare the potato okay so we're gonna first of all peel off the peel so is it how we get the starch or we actually use all of the potato okay and I would have to cut it okay so that the blender won't have to work extra. Let's assist the blender in doing some of the job by cutting it into pieces. Okay, so we're going to get a tiny blender and then pack all of that. Let me turn that into a bowl so we can try to get the potato starch. So to enable the juice come out very well, I'm just going to be pressing it this way. We have to press some of the goodness, the juice. Alright guys, so here is the juice, um, 
potato juice now to get the starch out of it we would have to keep it for like um three to four minutes you know let it sink into it and then we'll extract the the starch okay we just need about one tablespoon of starch so let's keep that aside also and then also we're going to be using some very nice ingredients like put tomato tomato treat open pores it helps for glowing skin it prevents signs of aging and it's also a natural sunscreen tomato acts as a stress reliever okay and it fights cellular damage it is a natural bleaching agent that helps to remove dark patches on the skin revealing a very bright and vibrant skin we'll bring in our tomato okay as usual we would have to assist the blender do a little bit of work here by cutting the tomato and then we get back the blender then we blend it okay all right guys so now we would have to turn in the tomato into this bowl All right, so we'll keep the tomato aside and now so we're going to also be putting in um fuller's earth clay powder now this is a remedy that works wonders on the skin it has been used anciently for natural beauty regimen fuller's earth is known for its ability to absorb oil and other impurities it can make your skin clearer it prevents clock pores and it also improve your skin tone complexion is the aloe vera the tomato the tomato and the potato which we're keeping to um yeah we have a little bit of that starch but first we're going to be mixing this ones first Okay, so this three ingredients plus the fuller's eggs is going to do all of the magic. Okay. So to mix this in, we're going to be taking three tablespoons of the tomato puree into the aloe vera. Like almost all what I have here. And then we're still going to be keeping this to sink down a little bit so we can have at least one tablespoon of starch. Then we're going to be mixing the Fuller's Earth Clay Powder. We're going to be taking one tablespoon of the Fuller's Earth Clay Powder. Now for these guys, you can buy it online, okay? So we're going to be putting that into the treatment. And this is how it looks like okay all right so now to make that even better we're going to be putting in the potato starch so I'm gonna be sieving out the juice and here I have the starch okay so this is basically the potato starch and then we're just gonna be taking one tablespoon of the starch Alright guys, so um actually put in the potato starch and one tablespoon it's actually okay. Okay, the potato starch is actually gonna help to tighten up the skin, it's actually gonna help to close up the open pores. That's if you're having open pores. If you're having oily skin, man, this treatment is for you 
and if you're having roughness pimples dark spots it's going to help you also okay basically it is really really good for removing dryness and aging okay so you're going to mix this very very well and make sure that all of the ingredients mix together because the fuller's earth clay powder does not really mix very well like, like that because it's actually a clay okay just like the name says so you're going to give it time and mix it now if you want a very fast result you would have to use this for three times in a week okay guys here is my ingredients tomato fuller's earth and when you use Fuller's Head in a treatment, like it's, it smells really nice. Like I love the clay, the smell of the clay. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. I've actually been smelling this for like some time. But sometimes, you know, it smells bad. But this time it smells nice. Okay, so what you do is that you first of all dab your face. I just dab my face with water and all you would wash your face okay and then you apply this so this i'm actually going to be using my hand so i'm going to be taking the treatment to my hands okay guys so fuller's eggs is a very lovely clay if you don't have fuller's eggs in your house and go look for it because if you are if you have to be taking care of fine lines or you have to you know prevent it you should have less head in your house so that when you so that you can mix it up with other natural ingredients you know to fight wrinkles and fine lines and do not forget your lap line rub it through okay so that I mean, it gets straightened and this also help in prevention okay they say prevention is actually better than cure right so you do not wait for you to develop wrinkles and all of that you can actually prevent it by using this remedy all right so what you do is to give you a little massage for me i love to massage my face especially those places in which i tend to produce more oil i tend to produce more oil at the nose area at the forehead remember to massage your forehead upward direction and then my chin around here and then here those are the places where i tend to develop oil now to tighten up those pores you need to you know scrub those places and let the this juice you know get into your skin and it's going to tighten you up okay so the next thing you're going to do is to wait okay after you've given it a very soft massage then you can wait for like you know one to um two minutes and three thereabouts and then you go wash it off now when you wash it off for me um, i have to take my bath because as you can see i'm not taking my bath yet so i'll take my bath and after that then i'll have to use a toilet soap which i have here uh, a black african soap that i mix myself okay so that's actually the toilet soap i usually use on my face more especially because i have a combination skin so after that then you use a very mild you know lotion and your skin is gonna glow all the way yeah that's it